what's up y'all welcome back to the channel so yeah let's talk about it let's talk about it while we eat this burger king i bought this because i want to try it and it might taste the way i feel about that daggone movie look how it looks okay we're not here for to um we're not judging this. We're talking about this a fall from grace. Okay? So, I only watched the movie because my daughter was like, Ema, you gotta watch it. You gotta see it. It's such a good movie. Like, I can't believe what happened. You gotta watch it. So, I'm like, all right, bet. Put the movie on. So, she puts the movie on. And for some reason, I don't know, we might have had too much stuff streaming that day, but, like, it kept on stalling. So, I kept on asking her, like, could you just tell me what happened? Because I was, in the beginning, it's kind of slow. Like, so I didn't understand. I was like, I, this is this is going by slow. I don't understand it. I don't want to watch it. And it looks cheaply made. So, just tell me what's going on. She was like, no, I'm not about to tell you. Why you can't just watch it? So... I sat there while I kept on buffering, and then it finally played. So, in the beginning, the um, the lady, what's the, Grace. Grace ends up getting divorced from her husband after being married and raising a child with her husband. She ends up getting divorced. He left her for a younger woman, his secretary. So she's all devastated about that. She feels like she gave him all her good years and like her life is trash now. So she's kind of upset about it. And she tells this to her best friend, her best friend. Uh, what's her best friend's name again? What's her best friend's name? Felicia. Whatever Felicia Rashid's name was in that, in that movie. She tells it to her best friend, okay? So, she's confiding in her best friend, like, oh, I feel this way, I feel that way. Blase, blase. Yeah. So, while she running her mouth to her best friend, I'm thinking in my head, like, boo, you talking too much. Like, you can't tell people everything. Like, be quiet. Especially, like, how you feel like that, like, giving away your vulnerabilities. And it's a shame, like, you should be able to tell your friends that type of stuff. But I didn't learn over the years, like, these these they ain't they really not so yeah so she telling this telling her best friend everything and her best friend ends up she's listening to the situation she got all the details so she hooks her up with a guy okay a guy named Shannon so she meets up you know starts talking to Shannon Shannon is younger than she is. So, Grace, Shannon's younger than Grace. So, Grace is what? Um, she probably was in her 50s. She probably was in her 50s. Like, she was older. She was a much older woman because she mentions how when she started hooking up with Shannon, the younger dude, how much older she is than, he is, than him and how tired she was because he used to have her out all day and night living her best life. Stella was getting her groove on, okay? all day so yeah this is not good and the only reason why I kept eating is because I'm talking about this movie and completely forgot so yeah so she running around with this younger dude this younger dude just swooped her off of her feet. He didn't wind and dine her. I know y'all didn't see all the memes where she was, um, what's the memes? All the memes from the movie. I know y'all didn't see them. I also got some onion rings and a whopper. Did anybody else put onion rings on a whopper? That's Whenever I get a, a Whopper from Burger King, I put onion rings on it. But, yeah. So, she ends up dating this younger dude. 
he whining and dining her they yeah so the memes that i know y'all didn't see is like when they didn't edit out that part that guy was drinking that drink for fake that fake drink i'm gonna have to insert the clip because i just was like you must have been tired when you edited this tyler or who edited this like did you look over this before y'all released this because what what Royalty, don't come over here. Here come royalty. She, I bought her her own chicken nugget kids meal. Why you? Oh. Royalty, no, no. That's a no, no, sweetheart. No, no, sweet pea. No, no. Find something else to do. Okay. So, yeah, so... Yeah, so he, so she ended up marrying the guy. First thing I don't understand is she seemed like such an intelligent lady, okay? So, if you know, like, you already went through one bad divorce. You're talking about I left, I didn't take anything. Why didn't you request what was, should have been yours? Like, that should have been yours. You was married to him, he cheating on you. Like, that's just foolish to me. So, I don't feel sorry for her. You left and didn't take what should have been yours. He didn't left you for his secretary cheating on you or whatever. That's just like dudes with child support. Like, I'm about to say it. You need to be putting your baby daddy on child support, period. He needs to be on child support if he is not living with you and taking care of that baby. Because especially if y'all don't live together, because he needs to be helping taking care of all your, your bills, the lights, gas, rent, all of that. So that way you're not out working trying to take care of all of that and being away from the child especially if he not watching the child like what how is that fair that you need to pay all of your own bills and then you know and be away from your child who's gonna be raising your child so um hashtag child support period point blank i said it but yeah she should have got alimony so i ain't feel bad for her about that i was like yo that's stupid and, you know, like, I be watching movies. That's why it's hard for me to watch porn. Because when I be watching porn and that girl be having in those latch braids that they used to wear in the early 90s, that pisses me off. Like, I be looking to see when was this made. Like, this can't be made in the 2000s because how much did you get paid to make this? Like, I can't watch it. Like, I'm sitting there dissecting everything. Like, why is this she got that bump on her booty? Um... I don't understand why why does her spit look like that like okay we all subject but still <laughs> i'm one of them type of people like she got to be looking right like i'm not watching no porn where she look raggedy that's just that on that but hold on because here she come move move oh i'm just playing Oh my goodness, all I said was she's so sensitive. She's so sensitive. All I said, ooh, and she gave me a look. Y'all, my daughter, that 10 month old, that 10 month old, she ain't playing with nobody's son. Daughter either, she ain't playing with nobody. Ooh, she's so sensitive. So, anyway yeah so she falls in love with the dude okay she swooped off her feet then head over heels didn't do no did you know like didn't know the laws of her state this so this dude then robbed her blind like he didn't took all her money after they got married he didn't robbed her for her and robbed her job because she worked at a bank he didn't get all her personal information robbed her job robbed her then he didn't took out another mortgage on her house after she was bragging to him like our house is paid off i paid this house off myself like sweetie like that's why i couldn't really even feel bad for her because like you was doing all this you knew all this but you ain't think to get a prenup before you married shannon this young dude like i know that i know it'd be good but it'll never be that good like i don't care like, that be my attitude. I'll, I'll mess with a dude, but I don't love you. I don't care. I don't care about you. It's to the point where I'm not to not look out for myself. And let, just let you 
do whatever. Like, at the end of the day, I got to have me. So, yeah, it was just crazy. So, after that, I'm still watching. I'm still watching. And I just peeped something like the lawyer. So, she had a lawyer that was working. Um, she had a lawyer that was appointed to her by the courts. So, you know, them type of lawyers, they kind of just be overworked and they don't really be working on cases but this lawyer she was a little bit different she really wanted to make a difference she went to school to make a difference so she tried on this case she was like you know what i'm gonna really try and i'm not gonna take the plea deal i'm not gonna have my um my client take the plea deal so i'm gonna really try on this case so she went to court went to trial ended up losing the trial because she didn't read all of the um documents that was given to her pre-trial she didn't read it and see that um, Grace had called her friend and told her friend that she had killed Shannon. So long story short, she ends up being found guilty because her friend gets on stage, her best friend gets on stage and says, yes, yeah, Grace called me and told me that she killed him. So I ran over to her house to see what was up. So I'm like, why would you call her best friend to the stage and her best friend then told the truth? So. I knew it was the best friend like when the lawyer had went over to speak to the best friend because the lawyer was decided to actually handle this case and try to get this lady off because she didn't believe she was guilty she didn't the lawyer didn't believe grace was guilty so the lawyer goes over to her friend's house the best friend's house and she's talking to her and the best friend is being all nice and then the best friend puts her out like she answers her questions and then she's like oh you got to go because i have other things to do i run like a nursing home or whatever so the lawyer leaves and then goes and looks up some more information and tries the case but after she went to that lady's house the best friend's house i was like the best friend that is the best friend the best friend did it i know it i know the best friend got something to do with this so come to find out the best friend is the mother to Shannon and Shannon is the young dude that married Grace and Shannon and the and his mother have been scamming old people for years taking a social security they have old women locked up in the basement taking a social security taking their homes taking their retirement just taking everything from them and then the other thing I didn't understand with the movie was like what was y'all doing with the money like what i don't understand and people like oh we need a part two a part two we do need a part two but i need a part two to be an explanation on everything that was wrong with part one what was they doing with all that money why was that dude drinking fake water and eating fake food why was that girl having a whole conversation a whole conversation with nobody like she was really forcing it like i can't even say that was good acting inside of the diner that whole diner scene was trash period okay i need an explanation for that and then i need an explanation of why grace was so dumb and how i had to feel sorry for her for her being so dumb okay so at the end of the day and then i need an explanation of why did grace's son go over to her house like what was he doing there her, her friend said that he went over to the house her son was there why we ain't never hear nothing about that? Like, this story had so many holes. It was so incomplete. The story was trash, period. I don't know who's saying that it was a good story. It wasn't. It was trash. Like, her son had went over to her house to do what? And why her son wasn't helping her when she went and got married to this young dude? Like, her son... I don't understand. I just didn't understand the movie. So, I mean, if I'm missing something and y'all thought it was good... But she ended up being found not guilty because they, the lawyer went over to the best friend's house and found out that the best friend had something to do with it. She found out the whole story that the best friend and her son was setting people up. So, yeah, the story was trash. Put him on child support. Sign a, a prenup. <laughs> Moral of the story okay and that's just that on that it's been real thanks for watching i ain't even get a bite of my burger because grace just got me just like girl even thinking about the movie was just like i keep thinking of things that was just horrible about it but y'all be easy peace